So in this video, we're going to talk about the two types of stretching and why what most people do prior to their workout or their run can actually lead to injury and impede their performance. So the first type of stretching is called static stretching. And this is any type of stretching where you hold your muscle in place for 10 seconds or longer. So you might do a hamstring stretch or a, uh, or a quad stretch where you're holding your muscle in the plate in the same place. Now this happens at all levels from what most people do prior to their workout all the way up to Olympic and professional athletes. But the problem with static stretching is that it can cause injury and it, can, it will decrease your performance. The second type of stretching that I recommend is called dynamic stretching. And in the second part of this video, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna show you a full body dynamic stretching workout. So the first problem with static stretching is that in studies it is proven to decrease performance and lower the strength of statically stretched muscles. So uh, sprinters, high jumpers, and many other type of athletes have found that their performance have decreased. And the reason this happens is because of what's known as the stretch reflex. And this is that your muscle fibers actually uh, are designed to work like an elastic rubber band and that you move in one direction, they're ready to catapult you in the other direction. Whereas if you hold them for 10 seconds or longer in that same position, the fibers actually stretch and stay there sort of like uh, an elastic waistband of a pair of old shorts. They become used to that position and they stay there. This is why it impedes your performance. Second problem with statically stretched muscles is that even though you have more range of motion and flexibility, the problem is you don't have strength and stability within this range of motion. So what that, what that leads to is a lack of balance and lack of stability, and this could lead to injury. So for example, if you're very flexible and well stretched out before you do squats, let's say in your quads and your hamstrings, what's gonna happen is you'll be wobbly in your squat as you're doing the movement up and down. Third problem with statically stretched muscles is that the myth that you're actually warming up your muscles when you're not. The only way to warm up your muscles is to get blood flow there through doing a similar exercise to what you're looking to do. The fourth problem with statically stretched muscles is the myth that you're actually decreasing muscle soreness with static stretching when in fact you're not. The only way to decrease muscle soreness is the same as to get blood flow. By doing the same exercise that caused the soreness or getting blood to flow within that area. And finally, the last problem with statically stretched muscles is it actually relaxes them. This is why yoga is so good for de-stressing. And what you're it's just something that you don't want to do prior to an aggressive workout or a match or a competition or something like that. Now opponents of this say that animals stretch, so we should as well. And like Jack LaLanne used to say, you don't see a, the big cats or a tiger, although you might see them do downward or up dog, you don't see them doing it prior to chasing a zebra. So if you are going to do static stretches, it's best to do them after your workout. And while you do them, it's best to flex the opposite muscle that you're statically stretching. So for example, if you're stretching your hamstrings, you're going to want to flex your quads or any type If you go down to stretch your hamstring this way, you flex your quads that way. So um, in part two of this video, I show you a full body dynamic stretching workout, the best thing that you can do prior to any match competition or workout or run. So I hope this works well for you. Good luck.